we're back to memory day sim day. A year after that summer, my dad's job forced him to transfer in us as a family to move. What seems too convenient is that we ended up moving to West Ham. Huh, what do you know? And I found myself back in that summer home. But I brought my memories of that summer with me. I wonder how much the people I've met have changed since then. I finally finished unpacking. Well, now I can actually go and take a look around town. The first day of school starts tomorrow. I should make the best out of the rest of the day. Sleep. <laughs> Sleep. Okay. We have high energy and high mood. Good. Let's go study. Let's see. Daichi's birthday. Okay, wait. How come we're all just classmates with them, but friends with Kai? Did I say the wrong things to them and then the relationship falls there? Oh. Okay. Daichi's birthday and an English test. You wanna get something for Daichi? Okay. Um, but I don't know. I should be a little weird when I say that. Okay. Let's leave. And here are the places you can go to. The park, the lake, the hallway, the classroom, the library, cinema, mall, and cafe. Let's just go through the hallway. Oh, no one's here. I was expecting to run into someone. Let's go to the classroom. Uh, might as well attend class. Oh. Right, it's Sunday. Um, I wonder if this is uh, the Japanese school system where you have school on Saturdays. You can study. But what is there to study? I won't study. But I think it's a park. Here we go, cutscene. I! What? I! It really is you! Oh, look, and you fixed your hair! It's really you! Hi! Just where have you been all this time? Oh, I actually just moved here. I was here before, on vacation. I see. You look really different now. See, look, he's much taller. Like, la like that summer is supposed to be they were kids, but it was really awkward because they're all shrunk. I mean, his proportions are still a little bit weird, but I don't want to pick off, pick on the art. Mostly because I can't draw that well, anyway. Ah, that's right, I got my hair cut. Wait, I almost forgot. Sorry, I'd love to talk some more, but I have to go run some errands. I'll meet up with you later, okay? We can just hang out. But my mood's already at maximum, so... Oh, no one that late. Library. No. Cinema. Here we go. I. Hey, what are you doing here? My family just moved here. Guess I'll be seeing you a lot more now. Really? Seriously? That's great! So you'll be going to school here too, right? Uh-huh. Awesome! Oh, sorry, I have to go. Talk to you later, alright? Sure. Hopefully I'll see you at school tomorrow. Huh? Who's that? Oh. Right, I remember that. Oh. I'm not surprised. Of course he has a girlfriend. They look good together. I'm happy for him, really. I'm glaring at her. How dare a potential love interest already have their own love interest. I mean, I should be happy for him. He's so nice. If I really feel that way, this weird feeling inside me will go away, right? Yeah, to total, totally, I... Oh, I know how she feels, though. Like, sometimes, when I was single, I I'd meet a guy and I'd be like, even a girl. Like, I just feel like, oh man, you're such date-worthy material. Oh, you're dating someone else. Hits you in the stomach every time. But at least, it, it isn't like, you like someone, and then they end up with someone else. Like, that's pretty harsh. Maybe not as harsh as, say, a breakup or something. But, like, wow, that, that's so, it's pretty I, I get that weird feeling, even if I'm not really that interested in the person. Just like, oh, you're pretty interesting, I'd like to see where this relationship develops, but you already have a girlfriend or a boyfriend, so... Whoa. It's okay, I, I know that feel. Tend to movie, work, leave. 
Wait, I want to meet everyone else. Here we go. There's Haru. I I think I've I've sort of decided in like my two minute break before recording this that I'm gonna pursue Haru. I remember his cutscenes and I like him a lot. He's kind of really cute. Mostly because glasses and I have the same glasses. Huh? Hi. Is that you? It's been a while. Are you visiting or something? I live around here now. My family just moved. Really? I don't have a lot of friends here, obviously. Mind if I hang around you a lot? Um, no, not at all. It's fine. Oh, god, he's already blushing. Oh my god, what is with Pacasus and glasses guys that are really nervous around girls? Thanks. So, do you want to hang out or something? Maybe later. I have to get ready for school tomorrow. Oh, me too, actually. Guess I'll see you later then? Sure. Oh, I can work. And the cafe. Eat here, work, leave. I... Work on, like, you can work in these three different schools, but I don't know which does what. Home. I might as well, like... Okay. I'm gonna try to study. There we go. The less you'll have to study. But I did want to study. Okay. Do I want to work at the mall or the cafe? Oh, I don't like any of these places to work. That's just me. Okay, how about I work and then I hang out at the park or the lake? Wait, library. Oh, read a book is actually... I'm going to be a huge nerd and study twice. You got the basics down. Probably should repeat your notes again later. Yeah, even though I haven't gone to school yet. Wait, do I have intelligence? No. Okay, I'll read a book. There we go. Increase the movie. The sounds of the library makes it a great place to expand your imagination with books. And then let's work. I think I have enough. Let's work at the mall. Ka-ching! You earn ten dollars. And time to go to bed. Yay, it's the first day of school. Let's go attend. Is it the park? Is it the lake? Is it the library? Yeah, he is. That doesn't make any sense. He should. Okay, fine, let's attend class. I should find my desk before class starts. Oh, hey, Haru. Hi. This is where you sit? Yeah. Funny, my desk is right next to yours. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, just what a coincidence, right? Get to your seats and open your textbooks to page 27. On the first day, already page 27? I recently started a new semester and we were like page 2 and 3. <sighs> the first month of school always takes me to these two. Can you hear ya? Huh? A note? From Haru? Oh, Haru, why are you passing notes in class? Okay, that is really adorable. If somebody was really shy around me and then they sent me a note that said that, I'd be like, oh, you're really cute, yes, but next time try not to do that because it's a little bit creepy, just a little bit, and puts a lot of pressure on someone whenever you ask them, hey, do you want to be friends? Because you don't, it's not something you ask. Like, as cute as this is, it's not, you don't ask someone, hey, are we friends now? Can we be friends? Can I be your friend? Like, you just, um, move out of your way to talk with them. If they're interested, they'll keep talking to you. Eventually, they might talk to you first. And then a friendship is, like, forged throughout that. There's no moment where you're like, okay, we're friends now, this is cool. And usually, TV show signs, well, that means signs of a TV show, no. Signs that a friendship is really awkward and forced is when a character says, Granted, I know Haru's development is that he's socially awkward. I don't know about social anxiety, but he, because he's 
sent this, and because he seems to flush a lot and he's stuttering and he's really nervous, I think he has that awkwardness and he doesn't know how to be social very well. And, like, that's alright. Like, I think we can be patient with that. Uh, did he really have to ask for the note? <laughs> sure. See, I would have said sure too. Because it, it is pretty cute, and it is in Haru's character. As vaguely creepy or forced as it is. Like, okay, it's not a set rule that whenever you ask, can we be friends? A friendship is not possible. That's not true. There are people who are like, can we be friends? And they're like, sure, and then they hang out more, and then they're friends, and that's fine, and that works for them. But for a lot of other people, it's just really awkward. Like, I don't know. I find it really awkward. Someone came up to me and started talking to me, like, hey, can we be friends? And I'd be like, uh, um, I don't know, aren't we friends right now? Or are we just casual acquaintances? Or, or, yeah. Teacher's not looking this way. I'll pass it back quick. Oh, I think that little heart is an indicator that you increased your relationship with him. Haru Noru? Huh? What? Huh? Answer to the question? Um, can you repeat it, please? What color was George Washington's white horse after he crossed the Delaware River? I, um, white? Wrong. It was brown. The horse was covered in mud. Who would ask that? That's a really bad teacher. Like, I, I'm so afraid of this exact moment happening to me, to be honest. I don't want a teacher to be like, Vanessa, what? What, what was the answer to the question I just asked you? Um, I don't know. What color? And then it asks, like, and then they ask a trick question, and then you're like, you see, say the obvious answer, and they're like, haha, no, you're wrong. I think the teacher just might be teasing him, but still, I don't want a teacher yelling wrong at me. Uh oh, are we having English class right now? Haha, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Pay attention, all right? See, messing with you, but don't mess with Haru. I mean, I feel like, like I can identify with Haru a lot, and I'd be so scared of a teacher messing with me like that. Like right now, I have a teacher who would mess with me like that, but I can anticipate it. This is the first day. Oh, okay. Oh, look, see, don't, don't tease people who are socially awkward about social. Because it really gets to them. It gets to me. And like you know they're going to have to eventually have social skills. But you don't want to make it a really difficult journey for them. You don't want to tease them when they're not ready. You want them baby steps. It's all about baby steps, alright? Oh, that is fine. Wait, 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 wait. Ha ha! Friend. Wait, what does Daichi mean? about West again. Oh. I'm scared. I actually don't know. What weird rumors? I think they're below me. I don't want to outright... Is he the skeptical type? I don't even know what weird rumors. I'm gonna... That's like my first instinct. Like, what weird rumors? Then he's gonna be all disappointed. But if you say, I think they're below me, he could be like, yeah, someone who agrees with me. Of course it's all below me. I know at least one of them is skeptical like that, but I don't know which one. One of them is full of wonder, and they're like, yeah, isn't the weird rumors cool? Magic is real and all that. And the other one's like, eh, these rumors mean nothing. I'm a stoic skepticist. Skeptic. Why did I say skepticist? Okay, skeptic. Is he a skeptic, or is he boy wonder? I honestly think they're wrong too. Yeah, see, mood is down because it was boring conversation. Apparently, West again is haunted, full of mysteries, and as supernatural things happen. I've been living here all my life, but nothing weird has happened yet. I've been. Okay. 
Oh shoot, <laughs> I'm wasting more energy. Summer seemed too short. Well, school isn't that bad, I guess. A good place for hanging out. Yes! Increased mood! Yeah, I feel like I see people a lot more often during school than over long breaks. Okay, let's make some money. Hold on, did I work here already? Yeah, let's make some money at the cinema. Oh. Shh, it's showtime. You earned five thousand dollars. What about here? Order up. You earned ten dollars. I think that's enough for a good gift. Alright. Those room decors. Just decorate your room. And you can have like a room full of stuff or things you want. I don't think I want any of these that would be Okay, what does Daichi like? Forty dollars? Can I afford that? I wish this had a save feature so I can save Scum and find out what gift he likes best. Because I want to get him a gift regardless of who I'm pursuing. I don't want him to, for to forget about me. I want him to be my friend too. But I'm out of energy, so and my mood's pretty low. So I'm gonna sleep. And it restores your energy and mood, which is nice, because sometimes you wake up feeling like crap. It's 10 class. Oh, I! Wanna go somewhere for lunch? No, I'm attending class. What do you mean? Why not? Great! Oh, that took energy. What are you going to order? I think I'll get a slice of pizza. Alright. Two pizza slices, please. For here. Huh? You're paying? But- Oh, come on. We're friends, aren't we? Yeah, we are. It says right there. You can pay me back later if you want. I don't like being in debt. If a friend was like, here, I'll pay for you, but you can pay back if you want, then I feel obligated not only to pay back, but pay back with, like, interest and be like, Okay, how about I buy you this food to make up for my debt? I don't know, I don't like negative numbers. <sighs> okay, thanks. Okay, let's attend class now. You're doing well in class, just don't forget to study. Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god. Okay, I already, I don't need to study again, do I? Um, let's work. There, I just earned money and points. I'm not to skip ahead. If I have a little bit of money, I can buy something that day. Okay. Sleep. So it's in class. Wait, are there any cutscenes in the trailer? Here we go. Hey, I. Are you, so, are you ready for the English test? Um. Want to study for it together? Sure. A group study, huh? I guess it's not so bad. Weird. He almost seems like he's enjoying it. Uh, 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 awkward. We made eye contact, but neither one of us is saying anything. Oh shoot. <laughs> that, that's like the worst awkward- th This is like awkward situation simulator, the game. Hey. Yeah? What did you get for question 7? Uh-huh. Er, I'm not there yet. Oh, sorry. I'll go get a reference book. Hey, don't run in the library! Oh, Hi. Er, you okay? Y yeah. Ha, <laughs> how embarrassing. This is why you don't run in the library. Hold on. Project Toddler? Well, I can't read that. I'm gonna- p I'm going upside down to read that. <laughs> oh, Terry the Toaster! I remember that. That's one of Paxus's original characters. Like I said, she has a lot of them. Right. It's a shame. I wanted to make a good impression on you. Huh? Why? I wanted to become friends with you, I. Hello! We're good friends! Oh shoot, he's, he's like ahead of Haru. we already friends? Exactly! You're too kind, I... Oh, what a mess. I better put these books back. I'll help. Thanks. I feel like I'm missing, like, 
cutscenes with individual guys. Nope. Okay. I'm into 10 class. You were able to answer many of the teacher's questions. Great job! That means... I think it means we're a bit ready. Wait. Okay. I'm gonna work and then buy a present for Daichi. What a relaxed shift. Not many people are shopping at it. You earn ten dollars. That's not bad. Like random events make it so you don't lose as much mood, or you earn some more money, or you don't use as much energy. I think. But what does he want? I have forty-five. Okay. Is it worse to invest in Bob Star the game, or buy both of these and give both of them to him? Um, what does he want? Oh, I don't want to mess this up and lose all my money. Maybe he likes a styling mini hat. Hold on, hold on. Let's talk to him, see if he gives any hints. Hey, are you ready for the pop quiz today? I think he's lying. He's definitely lying. Plus, pop quizzes aren't supposed to be told about beforehand. If I say bring it on, he'll be like, haha, sucker, you fell for my joke. But I say what pop quiz I never heard about it, he'd be like, oh, you fell for my joke. Oh. Oh. That did not give me any hints, and my mood is down. Okay. What do you want? Da wait, you're Daichi? Okay, wait. Wait. Yeah, you're Daichi. I can recognize you without your hoodie, which is really weird. I think you're, you're a video game slinger, right? You like video games. I haven't been talking to you at all, but you want a video game for sure. Hold on. Mood does give me some energy, but it can never be a good night's rest. Hey, maybe I can buy something for five dollars. That's not bad. Have a coffee. Now I can talk to Daichi again. Sweet. When I bike to school, I sometimes forget to bring my bike lock. Well, most people around here are pretty nice anyway. Don't weird things happen in West again? Please be the right answer. Yes! Oh no, you're right! What if my bike gets spirited away or something? Ha, huh, spirited away. And sleep. There's a test tomorrow. Make sure you're prepared for it. Dai Chi, Dai Chi, it's your birthday! You like video games? Yes! You do like video games! Oh, I knew it. Huh? Is this for me? Happy birthday, Daichi! Gee, thanks! You bought me a whole video game that's $40! If someone I barely knew bought me a video game for $40, I'd wonder what motive they had. But I just want to remember birthdays. I like doing that. Gee, thanks! Hey, when's your birthday? Um, in the summer. Oh, that's not for a while. I'll definitely remember though. Look forward to it. I'll give you something nice. Okay, let's see. Um... Well, that's a 10 class. One more time. You're able to answer many of the teacher's questions. Great job. Okay. I think... We're ready. Wait, where's Haru? My family runs a cafe in the north part of town. I'm not sure if I should work part-time there or somewhere else, though. Why not? It would be it would be cool. I'd like to eat this. Yes! It, it's not that great. It's sort of strange, but when I first saw you, I was... I'm not sure. I think it was weird how you're talking. Why? You seem nice, right? I don't know if it was weird at all. You seem nice? Yes! seem nice too. Max mood. Okay, we're out of here. Let's make some money. Um, work. Yes, another relaxed shift. So, talk to you one more time. You're not there. How about I read a book? No, I should talk to him. Oops, I hung out in the lake. Oh well. Maximum mood. Yeah, I'm prepared. I think. Should be. 
It's test day. I better head over to the school early. If I'm late, I have I'll have to make it up. I'll have to make it up. Here are the results. Better cross my fingers. I passed! All that studying paid off. Now I can enjoy the break without any worries. Sweet. Don't even need to attend class. Um, I'm just gonna finish up this week. Oh, come on! Why are you a good friend? Okay, Haru. I'm gonna... Um, talk to you. Hold on. Wait, I wanna get some work. Ka-ching! Here we're in ten dollars. Sweet. Okay. Are you in the lake? No. Are you in the classroom? No. Do you guys cycle where you are? Oh, hey! Haru, why aren't you wearing your glasses? I thought you were Daichi, but you said. Um. Ah! I! Where are your glasses? Somebody just bumped into me. Uh, I think they're on the ground somewhere. Oh! Here they are! Thanks. Sweet! Are we good friends now? Are we good friends now? Are we good friends now? Okay, let's talk to you. Have you seen Mr. Stew ghost us again yet? What do you think of it? And <laughs> pretend I didn't see it. I thought that it would have been boring since one of those historical based on a true story films, but it was actually pretty interesting. I'm talking one more time. Rumor says that a bear lives in the windy part of town. I can see it happening, but I still don't doubt it. Okay. If you he proved himself to be the skeptic. If you say better not go camping over there, he'd be like, yeah, but you know, it's unlikely that a bear is there. But at the same time, I think bears are cute. But would he be in the realm of agreeing with me that bears are cute? Or... I don't want to listen to the rumor. Oh, I knew it! I know for sure there are raccoons in those woods. I hear they'll steal all your food. Okay, fine, I'm getting the answer right. Yeah, he, they only ask the same things. Can I work again? Oh, no. Maybe I can work at the cinema. Busy, busy. Today the theater was packed. You're in five dollars. Okay. Let's go to sleep. Wait, hold on. How much money do I have? Twenty-seven dollars. Maybe I can combo me. Oh man, this is making me hungry. I just ordered some pizza. Saturday, the last day this week. I want to bring Haru up to good friend. Oh, hey, it's Daichi. Hi. Oh, hey, I. Did something happen? Arisa broke up with me. Oh, no. The girlfriend? Oh. Okay. Oh. See, like I said, it hurts when you're interested in someone but they're dating somebody else. But it hurts even more to just be broken up with. Not even like you broke up with someone. Like, that's still pretty bad, but it's not as bad as like a relationship you think is going well, but then you can see it slowly falling apart, but then you're like, oh, I think we can fix it. But then the other person's like, no, we can't fix it. We're done. We're through. And it's. Oh. That's really awkward. <laughs> oh my god, like I said, awkward situation simulator, the game. I don't know how to comfort people after breakups. I don't even know how people comfort me when I after a breakup, so. But that's not a surprise, I guess. I'm such an idiot. No, that was. It wasn't a surprise because of the plot. But it's a surprise in a sense that you're not such an idiot, Daichi. Oh wow, that's too cliche. I hate both of these. You can't tell someone to cheer up, and there are a lot of other questions. It's... This one is better than that one, because it's true. It's cliche, but it's true. Telling someone to just cheer up doesn't really do much. But at the same time, he seems the kind to be all happy. And... Sometimes, a lot of people don't want to hear there are other options. You'll always find someone else. Because... Yeah, that you can find someone else, but the one you wanted is gone. It's like, 
you drop the pizza on the ground and someone's like, that's okay, there's still tacos. That's a really bad <laughs> metaphor or simile, but I mean, it's true, like, you wanted pizza and then someone's trying to offer you a consolation prize with tacos. You might like tacos, but you're sad over the pizza being gone. Or, like, in the extreme example, let's say your child dies and they're like, no, it's okay, you can have a new child. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Is there a third option where it's like, no, you're not an idiot, you're fine, you're beautiful. Like that one video called Welcome to Tumblr, and there, there's always the, that girl, weird annoying girl who was like, you're beautiful, don't listen to what everybody says about you. He seemed like, I don't, I can't gauge for him. I don't know. Cheer up. Thanks. Oh, I didn't get any hearts. I think that was the wrong one. I didn't take things seriously enough, and that hurt her. <sighs> I really blew it. You didn't do anything wrong. Huh? You never stopped being yourself. There's nothing wrong with being true and honest. You're right, I. It's funny. Somehow, I always feel so much better when I talk to you. I'm lucky to have a friend like you. See, guys complain about girls friend zoning them all the time, but girls get friend zoned, quote unquote, all the time as well. Like, you always hear about the whiny types who are like, oh my god, but I'm a nice guy, why doesn't the girl like me? No, no, you don't understand, girls face that too. Girls are like, but aren't I a good person? Why wouldn't the person like me? And the truth, the truth is, they're not obligated to like you. If Daichi likes us as a friend, like the hive mind that is me playing this game, then that's fine. Just whatever. I'm not pursuing you. Really, I mean it. Oh, yes, heart. I'm 99% sure I missed some sort of cutscene with Haru. But maybe it's like one cutscene per boy per week. I'm just checking for the cutscenes, but I doubt there's two cutscenes at one time. There you are, buddy. Yeah, how is he? How is Kai a lot higher? What is this? Okay, I'll just talk to you. I still don't know what career I should aim for. Business? Science? Culinary? <sighs> Someday I'll have to make up my mind. These are both good options. It's true, it's too early, and you'll figure something out eventually. I don't want to dismiss his worries. I want to give him some hope. Oh. My glasses somehow got smudged today. I think I left my cleaning cloth at home today, though. Why not use your shirt to wipe it off? Who would just say cool story, bro? That's kind of dismissive. My shirt would still leave a weird smudge on it. Maybe I'm just picky like that. Yeah, well, let's work with it. How generous! You got a few tips today. You earned $50 in total. Yes, I'm at $42. Nothing can stop me now. Do I want any of these? No! Oh, Anti-Touch is a mascot. Pretty Piggy Bank is just a piggy bank. Alex the Cat plush. Alex the Cat is another... Yeah, it's pretty, um... Intense. Can't okay, leave. I'm gonna talk about this card. My family runs a cafe in the north part of town. I'm still not sure if I should work part-time there or someone else, though. Why not? Okay, cool, I'd like to eat this not that great. And one more time. Um, are you gonna be busy this week? Should we hang out? Yes. Yeah. Only if you want to, though. Too tired to do. Of course I am. Are we good friends yet? No. How is Kai ahead of you guys? I like them all, though. They're, they're nice. But our protagonist lady doesn't have any lady friends. If a guy confesses to me, I should be careful about how I respond, especially if I'm already dating somebody. That's true! This game is complex in that you can't date multiple people at the same time, or you'll automatically break up with them. I want to date Haru though, so yeah. 